Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses come from 2 Kings chapter 13, verses 17 through 19. They read as follows. Open the east window, he said, and he opened it. Shoot, Elisha said, and he shot. The Lord's arrow of victory, the arrow of victory over Aram, Elisha declared. You will completely destroy the Arameans at Aphek. Then he said, take the arrows, and the king took them. Elijah told him, strike the ground. He struck it three times and stopped. The man of God was angry with him and said, you should have struck the ground five or six times. Then you would have defeated Aram and completely destroyed it. But now you will only defeat it three times. In today's scripture, we read of Jehoash coming to Elisha's deathbed and receiving a blessing from Elisha. Elisha tells King Jehoash that he will be victorious over Aram, and he takes him through a symbolic act to show him. Elisha gives the king specific instructions to do in this symbolic act, and for the most part, Jehoash does them. But when he gets to one of the last parts of the symbolic act, Jehoash stops when he feels he's done enough not when Elisha tells him to stop. Basically, perhaps he's thinking, that's enough, this is kind of silly, I've done enough. And what happens? Elisha tells him that he will get the victory, not because the victory lies with him, but because it lies with the Lord, our God. He will get the victory because of the Lord. But because he sort of gave up, stopped when he wanted to stop, not when the Lord told him to, just sort of took it half-heartedly, didn't follow it all the way through, He'll get the victory, but he'll miss out on a victory that could have been much sweeter than anything he could have imagined. Sometimes we get a word from a pastor or a church leader or a friend or someone close to the Lord. And in that word, we get specific instructions. Do this like this. And we're tempted to think, oh, whatever, okay, I'll just do it sort of like what they said. I'll just kind of do it like this. That's good enough. Here, this should be sufficient. This should get me what I want. But that's not what gets God's attention and that's not what God really wants. Just enough is honestly just not enough. It's just not enough. I mean, how would you feel if you sent someone to the store and you asked them to get a list of items for a cake? You're making a cake from scratch and they come back with most of the items. They forget the butter and the sugar, but most of the items are there. That should be good enough. How would that cake taste? horrible without butter and sugar. If we want good cake, we need all of the items and we need to follow the directions as they are given. And if we want the very best outcome for a blessing that God wants to give us, we need to follow his directions the way he gives them to us. How, when, what, where, why. We need to follow his directions the way he gives them to us for the best possible outcome. Because when we don't, the consequences could be detrimental. You remember King Saul, the first king of Israel. God gave him a charge, destroy completely all the Amalekites, men, women, old, young, boys, girls, infants, sheep, cattle, everything, wipe them out. God had a purpose and a reason for his instructions. And what does Saul do? Saul sort of carries out his plans. He wipes out a good number of them, but he spares the king. He keeps the sheep and cattle. He keeps the best for himself. And the thing is, he did get the victory over the Amalekites, but he lost the kingdom because he sort of obeyed. He kind of followed the instructions. He got the victory because the victory lied with the Lord, but he himself lost the kingdom. If you receive a word from the Lord through scripture, through the spirit, in a dream or vision, through church leaders, through someone close to God, if you receive a word from God, do exactly what God is telling you to do through that means or that person. Don't do it halfway. Don't do just enough. Don't do what you think is right, which is honestly pride because you're telling God you know better than him. Do it completely. God is trying to bless you and he knows the best way to get the blessing to you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, please help us, God, to be humble enough, Lord, that even when we don't understand something, that we follow your instructions exactly, Lord Jesus. Help us to humble ourselves, Lord, to follow what you tell us to do, God, to follow you in all your ways, Lord Jesus. Please help us, Lord, not to think we know better or think we want to do things a certain way so we just sort of rebel, Lord, and do things the way we want. Help us to follow you 
to humble ourselves, God, and to obey you, God. Forgive us when we fail in this area, God. Please help us to come up higher in Jesus' name. Thank you guys for spending this time with me today. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel for these daily weekday devotionals. I would love to have you guys. God bless you. God loves you. Know that. Know that God loves you. Have an amazing day, and I will see you next time. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. See you next time.